Okay, for the tree diagram exercise. Okay, so in year nine, what we do have a revision of what we have to do in year nine. In year nine, we do that. If you have two red, I will say red, red, and then I have a blue, and then one blue. If I have five red, I'll say red, 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 and then blue. They're all equal likely events. I list out every single possibilities. But in year 10, we just do an easier way. Okay, so we write the probability on each branch. Okay, so if I just have two colors of the candy, we have red one and blue one. We just write red and blue. Okay, we just write red and blue. And then the probability of getting red will be different because the probability of getting a red will be two thirds because I have like two red and one blue. And then we have blue one is one third. We write the probability on each branch and we grouping the similar outcomes. Well, if I have red, 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 but they're only red, okay? They're just a red color. There's no difference between them. I'll grouping them together. That's the only thing changed in year 10 compared to year nine. So let's have a look. So the probability of the final outcome will be just times the probability on, the, on this branch, on this branch. So that's just two thirds times two thirds, which is a four or nine. Four get a red and a red. Okay, I get a red and a red. So what's the difference between red, blue, and blue, red? Is the order. Okay, do you get a red one first or do you get a blue one first? That's the order of getting them. Well, if I only just talk about, uh, I want a red and a blue, and I didn't mention the order, which means those two are both satisfied. I can just add those two probability together. Okay, let's just have a look at examples. Let's read example one. Let's have a read about example one. Example one is a without replacement question. Okay, if it's a without replacement question, a bag contains four without replacement, okay? Make, that's a little bit tricky, okay? A little bit tricky compared to with replacement. Uh, without replacement, a bag contains five blue and three white marbles, and two marbles are selected without replacement. Draw a tree diagram to show all outcomes and probabilities. Okay, I will have first selection. I can... For the first selection, I, ha I can have a blue one or I can have a white one. What's the probability of getting a blue one? Five over eight. In total, we have eight and five blue. Five over eight. What's the probability of getting a white? Three or eight. Okay, great. Okay, if the first one I select is a blue, I still have two other outcomes for the second selection. I can still have a blue or have a white. Or again, I can have a blue or a white. But this one will change. Okay, this one will change. Why this one will change? Because the blue one has been taken out, put somewhere else, or I eat it already. So uh, I can't eat, it's a marble, sorry. I can't eat that, <laughs> okay? Don't eat. Okay, it's a marble. Um, if it's, I like, I, I like chocolate, so let's say blue chocolate. Um, okay, disappeared, okay, disappeared. And then, what's the total number become if I select one already? Seven. If I select blue, the total becomes seven. How many blues I have left for the second selection? Four, okay? So in the second selection, I have seven marbles left and four blue and how many red white white, white. three whites you three white so what's the probability I can have a blue one for the second time four on seven great and then the white one must be three on seven okay that changed because one take away seven only inside Four blue, three white, and the probability will change as well. It's not going to be five on eight and three on eight anymore. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Well, this one means the first select is a white one. Okay, I already tell you the first selection is a white one. So still seven left. Okay, one away, seven left. How many blue I have left in this box? Five. Okay, five blues. And how many white? Two white. Okay, good. 
Then that's the structure for the second selection. So to have a blue must be 5 over 7. And I want to select a white, must be 2 out of 7. Okay, 5 out of 7 and 2 out of 7. Okay, so the outcomes, okay, you have an outcome column as well. The outcomes will be this one is blue, blue, or you can write in coordinates form, and that means the order. Okay, blue, comma, blue, blue, comma, white, white, comma, blue, and white, comma, white. And, uh, I need another color. Well, I'll just take that off. I will write another column here. Uh, the next one is the probability for those outcomes. Okay. It's the probability for those outcomes. Read the question carefully in your test, okay? The probability test. See, showing the diagram of all outcomes and probabilities. So you need to show the probability besides that. Okay, show the probability besides that. So what's the probability of getting two blues? What's the probability of getting? Okay, five on eight times four on seven, which is uh, five over 14. Okay, the four and eight get canceled. It's two under the bottom, so two times seven is a 14. Five times 14. What's the probability for a blue and then a white? Okay, 15 over 56, yes, there's no way to cross out any number. And a white and then a blue, same, okay, it's the same. And the probability of two white? 3 over 28, yep, the so 2 and 8 get cancelled with a 4, 4 times 7 is 28, and 3 left on top, so 3 on 28. Okay, those probability add up should give you 1. Okay, if you try it and it's not 1, which means we did something wrong. They should add up and then give you a 1. Okay, that is our tree diagram. Okay, that is our tree diagram. So, I can ask you a question. I can ask you a question here. It says, uh, A. What is the probability of getting a blue and then a white marble? Okay, B is asking, what is the probability of getting a white and a blue marble? Okay, what's the answer to those two questions? You can see your tree diagram. What's the probability for the first one? Okay, 15 over 56. Okay, a uh, blue and then a white, blue and then white is this one. So what's the probability for the next one? Okay, so it's 15 over 56 times two. Oh, plus 15 or uh, 15 or uh, 56 and that is a 15 over 28 okay 15 over 28 okay so the order that's not important will give you more probabilities will give you a larger probability so there's two outcomes okay there's two outcomes okay and then you can see those outcomes are not equal likely anymore those outcomes are not equal likely anymore because they have different probabilities of getting each other. And it's not a table method. Okay? In the table method, every outcome is equal likely. But here, it's not equal likely by three diagrams. Okay.
just spend some time of doing example two by yourself. You can just spend some time doing example two by yourself. This is like a tree diagram as well. It's a two-stage question as well. Okay, a box A and B contains four counters each. And box A contains two red, two green, and box B contains one red and three green. A box is chosen at random, and then a single counter is selected. Okay, draw a tree diagram, options available, and then show you all the possible outcomes and relevant uh, related probabilities. So, <coughs> first of all, I can for my first selection is select between box A and box B. I have box A and box B. What's the probability of getting box A? Half, yeah, 50, and box B is half. So there's two identical boxes. I just select that one or that one. So it's half and half. And then I can select the red counter and the blue counter for the first one. In B, I can select a red and the blue as well. But the probability will be different. In box A, what's the probability of getting a red? Sorry, what is it? Half and B is half as well. What's the probability of getting a box B and then getting a red counter? One on four and the B, three on four. Okay, three green over four. So the outcome will be A comma R. From box A, I get a red. From box A, I get a blue. From box B, I get a red. From bo uh, no, sorry, that's not blue. It's a green. Okay, it's a green. And box B, I get a green. Okay, uh, box B, I get red. And box B, I get a green. The probability here will be a quarter, a quarter, one eighth, and three eighths. Okay, one eighth and three eighths. Okay, exercise B says, what is the probability of selecting box B and the red counter? Selecting box B and a red is B, okay, it's probability of B comma red, okay? Or say B intersects red is also fine, okay? B intersects red is also fine, that's one eight. Okay, I want box B, and the red counter must come from box B. It is only the third outcome is one eighth. C says, what's the probability of selecting a red counter? So what I'm interested in is probability of red counter. That will be the same as the probability of A intersects red plus probability B intersects red. I can have a red counter from A, I also can have a red counter from B. So A red and B red. So A red is a quarter, B red is one on eight. Okay, one on eight, and that's three eights. That's three eights. Alright, what I want you to do now is draw a tree diagram on the same one or a separate one, doesn't matter. I want you to show if there's a second selection of the counters. Okay, select one without replacement and select another one. Okay, you select one without replacement and select another one. I want you to show all the possible outcomes and the probability. Okay, and the probability. Okay, selecting one and then without replaced and then select another one. Exactly same conditions here.
Okay, so second selection without replacement. Okay, if you have finished, you should have something looks like that. Okay, you should have something looks like that. There's a probability zero. Actually, there's only seven outcomes. Okay, seven outcomes. You can just ignore that one. Because that's a probability of zero. You can't get that one. Because there's no way you can get two red counters from box B. Okay, no way to get two red counters from box B without replacement. Um, so you only have seven outcomes and they are not equal likely distributed so the probability will look like that so that we, we see order okay select box A you select the red counter and then a green counter that's the meaning of the second one okay so any questions about that you should be able to do up, like to this question okay that's very important you will have three diagrams in your tests definitely you will ask to draw three diagrams and then give outcomes and then give the probabilities definitely okay there's no way you're not having that so you must know how to do this particular question any other questions no okay so that's it for today